I'm Chris Waters, and we're back on the live stage. Day three of GameSpot's live coverage V3 continues. Now, we're getting into some dying light. Joining me is Matic, Matic the Matic. lead game designer uh, from Techland. Uh, we're going to be playing some dying light, talking yes. about it, and you guys have been showing this off to a lot of folks here at E3, and people actually been getting to play it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we have a press demo. Um, which focuses, uh, you know, on the previous demos, we would uh, focus on, you know, showing what the game is all about, the day and night cycle. This time around, we're focusing on the player progression. How okay. can you develop your character? And how does that actually influence the choices that you make in the game? Because depending on which abilities you decide to unlock, you will have to do, tackle the game differently. Yeah, and, and let me just say, I'm so <laughs> super excited to be here. It's absolutely awesome. We're really glad to have you on stage. Here. Oh, I mean, thank you for having so me. It's so fun to 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 like just sort of like bask in the energy of E3, and especially when you have a game that people are getting excited about to show off. That must be excellent. Yeah. Now, Dying Light. Uh, you know, you talk about player progression and the you know choices players will make in terms of customizing their character. Give us an idea of the range of sort of game gameplay uh, that you can cover the, in terms of the customization, because. There's, you have the parkour, you have the zombie killing, you have the, the, the environmental manipulation. And There's crafting. so much in play here. Yeah, yeah. So just, it, just considering the character, we have two basic proficiencies. So agility and strength. And the way you develop your character is by doing. So you want to get better at agility, that means you have to run, you have to jump, you have to slide and whatnot. Uh, you want to get better at strength, that means combat. That means uh -huh. a lot of broken bones and smashed skulls and cut off limbs and a lot of blood gushing. And so if you accumulate enough of experience in each proficiency, you level up. And of course, you get to be stronger, faster. But the most important part is you get to unlock these really cool abilities. And we really think about them as game changers. You know, we have about 50 of them. And That's a lot of game changing. Well, oh yeah. Well, you know, um, depending on which type of... Uh, that depends how you want to play the game. You know, okay. we really want to be uh, the players to be able to say, "Okay, this is how I want to play the game," and we give you all the toys so you can do it the way you want to do it. So, for example, you might be the person who doesn't really feel like fighting. Uh, so, yeah, if you, you know, in real life, when zombies show up, I wouldn't grab a thing and and smash them. No, I w I would be running away yeah. really fast. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, so for example, you can unlock number of abilities that if you get in trouble, you can, you know, slide full speed, jump off them, uh, uh, be able to jo dodge them, throw them away. On the other hand, you want to... I'm feeling confident about just killing stuff. Yep. So much stuff, well, and we'll be able to see some of that in that demo. All right, well, let's get right into it. We got a, a chunk of gameplay demo that uh, someone's going to be playing in the back, and yes. uh, it says Old Town here on the screen. Set the stage for us. Where is this located? And actually, uh, we had a question come in over Twitter earlier about that. I'm going to look it up. You set the stage for us. All right, so this is actually a part of the game that we've never shown before. Th this E3, this is the first time we're showing it. Um, it has a completely different vibe to it. Um, it's much more vertical. Um, it's it's an old town, so you can expect beauty. Kind of decayed because it's still quarantine, but you know, little cafes, shop, tall buildings. Um, all right, let's just jump right into the action. You missed a chance to say dive right into the action, man, and totally yeah, I, pawn it up. Totally, sorry. <laughs> My English is not that good just yet. Quick question from Ali about the setting. Uh, is this? It's Haran is the name of the place? Yes. And is this based off of real Istanbul? Is, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Istanbul uh, was one of our references. Yeah. Uh, we really think yeah. that, you know, a city at the brink of west and east has a true unique uh, flavor. Um, it feels really flesh, fresh for the video, video games. So, yeah, uh, that, was, that was one of the biggest uh, references that we had. One of the influences? So yeah, cool. here again, I don't know if you noticed, uh, we brought our crafted weapons with us. Um, this is something very... That's not a straight off the shelf, spike bat yeah, murder weapon? Yeah, it, I, would, I would call it a classic. <laughs> uh, it's very simple, but effective. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's try, perhaps we could see like, you know, ripping. You can actually rip pieces of meat right of them. Oh, and if you aim it just right, you, yeah, that was 
bones. He just broke the bone. Yes. Yes. It's a little oh, like an echoes oh. of Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So God. that was actually that was actually a combo. Yeah. So that was two abilities. First one was jumping right off them, running and, on their heads and yes, shoulders. Yes. And while yeah. you launch yourself, you can combo it with an aerial attack when you smash them right through. That's another thing. Uh, we call it. <laughs> We call it a Zapparex, and you can actually split a guy in half of that. Now, we got to make sure that they don't come too close. We uh -huh. call them biters for a reason. Yep. Um, that's another special video. We call it... That was like a... Was well, that swinging it all the way yeah, around? Yeah, 360. Yep. So we can take the whole group with them. Okay. So maybe. now, now that, oh, like... And, yeah, yeah oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, now this one looks like it's got a little yeah, flame we, damage yeah, attached. Yeah, yeah, you can actually grab a little pieces, you know, of metal, a little gas tank here, piece of metal, duct tape, and you can create something like that. We call it flame slasher. So with this thing, you can actually cut them to pieces and burn them at the same time, uh -huh. like zombie grill. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, the the uh, the brutalization of zombies is something Techland is very familiar with, having <laughs> de developed the Dead Island series. Uh, what you know in terms of what you guys, you know, obviously there's the like the uh, just the visceral satisfaction of like oh. vanquishing your enemies in, in these sort of gory ways. Uh, is that was that sort of the driving factor there for like letting you sever limbs and chop them in half, or do you you know sort of is there a strategic element too to like well like taking down the zombie would take a little bit of effort, but if I chop its leg off at the knee, it's not going to be able to pursue. Oh yeah, well kinda. Okay. Uh, the, the <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's so always, where, where are you guys it's always best to go for the head yeah. uh, because you can cut their limbs off. You can cut a leg off. It's still going to crawl for it's you. It's still going to crawl, yeah. So, But, for example, you can choose a special ability. Oh, and here, actually, uh, just pointing that out, you can, we can actually bring the infected to help us. We, we just made a lot of noise, bring them infected to kill other humans. But coming back to your question, uh, you could try an ability where you knock them down and just stomp them on their heads. That's an easy kill. Uh, again, but that's your choice. Uh, you can concentrate on breaking them. Like, just uh, try to avoid it. You don't have to kill them. Uh -huh. and, and yeah, making the game as visceral as possible. Yeah, that was the idea right from the start. You know, we really try to make combat as meaty as possible. You know, all these splats and breaks. That's, that, that's a drop that kick. That was really good. <laughs> one drop of my, kick of the zombie one off the of roof. My I like that a lot. Uh, you know, one of our references was, uh, do you remember the movie Ninja Assassin? Yes. Yeah, you know, the it's way like the weapons sound, the, all the blood splats, it was so awesome. Uh, so, yeah, we definitely want to bring that kind of uh, experience, really touching it. You can feel it, you know, and, and, the, and the weight of weapons. We really uh -huh. try to make it... Uh, Make you feel the difference, you know. It's different if you if you use the the baseball bat. It's different if you're if you're swinging a pot. It's different if it's two-handed hammer. Oh, beautiful headshot! It's just like really just fun to watch the, these jump kicks and you know baseball bat swings. Oh, you saw you saw oh, that meat no, going off. Gross, man! <laughs> I want to see some zombie guts. Uh, I like that they you know they aren't just limited to being on the ground. So you know, it's not just oh, I'm on the roof. I'm totally safe. No. Because that gives you the chance to kick zombies off roofs, which is awesome. Uh, but we did see something earlier that I would like to ask you about. Yeah. Mobility is such a huge part of this game. We saw, you know, walking on zombies, sort of uh, parkour stuff, mantling on surfaces, climbing up walls. There was like a little grappling hook yeah. type thing, yes. right? So talk about that a little bit and how that sort of opens things up for players. Right, well, you know, uh, grappling hook brings yet another level of how you can traverse through the wall. And uh, yeah, that we, you know, it, you don't get it from the start. Uh, but as you progress, as you get better, you start to be really smooth at, at traversing. But still, you will find yourself in situations that, well, you know, you can find uh, running to a dead end. Uh -huh. And having that thing, it's a lifesaver. Yeah. And uh, there you go. Of course, you can also use it offensively. Like you can, you know, grab somebody's leg and just pull it off the roof. Uh, <laughs> it seems like so much of this is just you guys thinking of what would be like really funny, goofy, nasty ways to just. Like, oh, you have you have zombies. no idea. You know, <laughs> we have people uh, showing up at the office, and they're like. You know what? I, I was taking a shower and I I, and I have this really <laughs> awesome idea that it would be so cool to do this. And we're like, yeah, All yeah, right, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Matic. I have a bunch of questions coming in on Twitter, so I want to fire Matic real right. quick. Uh, 
One of them sort of ties into that uh, that mobility we were talking about. Stephanie Harden wants to know uh, about fall damage being an issue. Like, how you know if you're if you're falling off a roof, how do you guys? Do you take damage from that, or can you drop a significant distance, or can you land on safe spots? How does that work? All right, so, well, if you fall from too big high, you're going to die. Okay. Uh, but Such is life. <laughs> but um, there are a number of objects that you can use to break your fall. Uh, a number of them were visible in the demo. I think so I saw an awning over yeah, like, like a, a little stand or like something. Yeah, like a tent or uh, bags of trash uh, or a car, uh, car roof. There's a bunch of stuff that you can use to break your fall. All right. On top of them, there's a number of abilities, like free running abilities, that you can use to be able to not die while falling. So, for example, a roll. A lot of people was asking, can I perform a roll? And a lot of people are like, yes, you can. All right. Got a few more. Uh, how can you upgrade your weapons? Stuart wants to know. We sort of touched on that a little bit with, you know, slapping the battery to the axe, the lighter to the machete thing, yeah. whatever it was. Uh, is that stuff that you are... Do it, you're finding in the environment and crafting similar to Dead Island? Uh, yes. So you, while you're exploring the game, you find loot, a little piece of metal here, a little duct tape, some wire, a gas tank, and then you can combine it all together. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and, it, but, and you can create weapons that feel, uh, you know, that suit your play style. Like. So, you know, you, you kind of feel like the guy that likes heavy weapons, so you can upgrade your, your access to make... Sure as much damage as you can with those. You can use knives. You know, we have like 100 uh, of base weapons. So, and, and they're pretty much, you can modify them all. So, so lots of options there. Final absolutely. question from Dejan uh, wants to know on, off Twitter, how does the game change when you play co-op? Well, uh, first of all, it just gets more awesome. Like, you know, <laughs> it's everything you do with friends it makes it that much more awesome. It's, yeah. it's, it's just gets better. I mean, that's one of the maxims of game design, I think. Yeah. So, um, well, you know, that depends how you want to play it. Okay. So you feel like cooperating. Uh, that's good. You can, you know, try completing missions together. You're going to actually help each other. For Like uh, in night situations, you know, the infected are attracted to noise. So you could, let's say we play together. You can grab a machete start banging it at the door, lure the infected from one place to another, and uh -huh. then we can sneak together around it. Or maybe we feel more like, let's bring them here, uh, I'm going to be the bait, and uh, you drop the bomb or something. Uh, then we, we might say, you know what, uh, we're going to take these two side quests, I'm going to finish this one, you're going to finish this one, and then we'll meet somewhere else. Very cool. And on top of that, we have our pre-order incentive. This is the mode that we call Be the Zombie. Uh -huh. um, and that's pretty much what it says. Uh, you get to play as this super infected. Um, and what's, what's cool about it is you get to join other people's games. Like when they're playing, they, they're just regular game as yes. humans. And then you show up. And you come after them. Yes. As your nasty zombie self. Absolutely. All right, so that's a pre-order bonus. Yes. And so pre-orders are open now, but when is the game coming out? Um, Dying Light is coming out in February 2015. And it's going to be on next-gen consoles? Or Pretty much everything. So 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Excellent. Matyuk, thank you so no. much for coming on stage. Thank you very much for having That's me. That's a lot of fun, man. Uh, looking forward to it.